Ugh, it's hot outside. Not gonna lie. Okay, right, so here's what we got. We got the Halo 1 Master Chief normal just helmet. Uh, inside we've got the matting, fiberglass matting, which also I have on the helmet, which isn't good. But uh, anyways, on the inside though, we've got the fiberglass matting. And so I've got to take it off of the actual helmet. But uh, yeah, so right now I've got the matting in there and what I'd used was I just used uh, spray adhesive. Like just any spray adhesive you get at Walmart. Uh, when you're working with fiberglass resin or any type of chemical that, you know, is strong, you're going to want to make sure you wear gloves and a mask or really well ventilation. Well, I'm working in my garage and my garage door is wide open. So obviously I don't have to necessarily wear a mask. I probably should, but uh, I'm not. Oh well. If I die a couple years earlier, oh well. So this is what you're going to want. Fiberglass resin. You should know this by now. Considering you've already resin the outside. I did three coats of resin on the outside. Uh, and then one coat of resin on the inside. I didn't really have to do that. What you're going to want to do is take your lid. And you're going to want to take aluminum foil. You're going to wrap your lid in aluminum foil. And that way your lid doesn't get ruined. So I just kind of put your aluminum foil in there. And uh, just kind of... Kind of make your little aluminum pocket there. I kind of messed up because I ripped a hole in it, so I got to redo it. Leave it to me, right? So, uh, so yeah, you're just kind of making an aluminum hole here that you can pour your resin into. See? So now, just using the lid, I now have little aluminum bowl. So now I'm going to open up my resin, shake it up a little bit, open it up. It's hard to open with these gloves. Well, try opening it without gloves on. Hopefully it isn't going to help much. There we go. Ah. Now that that's open, thankfully, I'm going to pour some into this bowl. And this is actually poured out a lot easier than I thought it would. Uh, the old bottle I had, I lost my lid for it, so it got a lot thicker. So, uh, yeah, you're good. I'm gonna use about this much resin. And uh, you can't really see it very well, but it's quite a bit. And I'm gonna do uh, like eight drops of hardener. So we got, oh, the, apparently the hardener has to be cut first. I knew that, it's just, it's been a while. Um, so I need a knife. Don't have my knife on me, so hold on. My handy dandy trusty knife. Tip that baby out. And we're gonna punch a hole into this. Ow. And not cut ourselves like I almost did. So you wanna be careful. Obviously you have an adult do that. Uh, actually you should have an adult do all of this. No kids should be working with this. I would say um, you should be at least 13 and have adult supervision to work with resin and things like that. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so I did 10 drops. 8 to 10 drops is usually probably, probably pretty good enough. So now I'm going to kind of mix it all together. Mix up my resin and hardener. Okay, so now 
I'm just using this foam squeegee brush. And so now I'm going to start putting it all into the helmet. I'm going to start dabbing the resin into the helmet so that it hardens on the fiberglass matting. So once I do this, this is going to get really hard. And it just depends on how hard you want your helmet to be on how much you add. Resin can be found in your local Walmart or Ace Hardware or any hardware store uh, back in the automotive repair section because it's used to repair cars. In case you didn't know that. Um, which I'm sure if you've made a helmet before, you do. But say you've never made a helmet before, you're not going to know that. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just completely soaking this uh, fiberglass matting with the resin. So if you can see where it's different there, where it's darker, that's where I've put the resin on so far. And, uh, you know, I've got plenty of resin here, so I'm just going to, you know, soak it pretty good. I could do little coats of it, but I've already got the matting in there uh, using the spray adhesive, and it's set there for a while. So it's dry, so I'm just going to let the matting actually soak up the resin. You get me? So, uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. Like, it's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to go into time lapse now, so uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so now as you can see, I got completely soaked inside with resin and the fiberglass matting. Obviously, I did not do the visor so that it's easier to come out. But uh, I'm just gonna let that sit there. Now for cleanup, cleanup's easy. All you gotta do is put your little cap back there, take your brush off, unwrap your lid. Wrap your brush up in your into your uh, aluminum foil. Take off one glove. Wrap that up in. Ta-da! Put your lid back on. Oh, well, maybe this won't fit there. I guess. Anyways, put your lid back on. Put your partner on top of that and you're done. This is it. I'm going to take off my other glove. You just start from there and wrap it on over. And that way you get none of that sticky residue on your hands. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a halo helmet. This is part one of a, I don't know how many parts series. So yeah, there you go.